So let's calculate some Fibonacci numbers. We're going to use HarVM, which is a Discord bot in Node.js, to calculate the Fibonacci sequence. And its commands are made in such a way that they can be used to write programs that calculate Fibonacci numbers. We're going to use a O of N method because that's only the fastest way I know of of calculating Fibonacci numbers. To start, we can use help to get a list of commands. And one of the special commands is a batch, which lets us run multiple commands at once. For example, data log um, hello is a command that uh, makes the bot say something. We can do it twice to make in a single batch command. Let's start writing the Fibonacci generator. Fibo. We're going to be writing a an ABC, an aliased batch command, which means that we can write a we can make an alias using slash uh, call an alias set alias set creates a new alias and we can do this by using yet another batch command so here we're defining wrapper to be a multi-line string so we can define main to contain our actual function and we can continue writing things here and then here after defining the main we can call data params or data param uh, data help command data adds params. So we can do data params to pass in multiple um, parameters. So here we can see an example of an ABC, an aliased batch command. So we, w we just need to take in a single argument, which is just n. Uh, that's the number, the Fibonacci number that we want to calculate up to. And after declaring wrapper, we can set this entire thing as an alias. So we can do alias set Fibonacci, and it will make it a batch call, uh, and substitute in the value of this multi-line string. And that way, when we call Fibonacci using um, like this, we can pass in a number, calculate the 10th Fibonacci number, and that should give us 55. So when it calls wrapper, um, this only declares a multi-line string. It sets the main variable to a multi-line string here. And in data params, we need to pass in a command for it to run. So I, th I think if we just type in main, it'll take the value of main and immediately run it as a batch command. So then we declare n, and then all the following values here will be set to um, n. But we're leaving it off here since the it, um, it'll substitute in the value of wrapper when we call Fibonacci because it's an alias if you understand me. I don't think you do. Anyways, you can set, you can create a variable, the data set command lets us set a variable to a value. So we can just set a to zero and set b to one. And then every time it loops, uh, we should probably decrement um, n, and we can do that using data math. So data math we want to store n, the result in n, and then we want to get the value of n minus 1. So that should decrement n by 1. And then we can use if 
we can declare some uh, multi-line strings to execute given a condition. So if Let's say if n is 0, then we're done. So we can data log f of n is n. Now, the results. And we should probably should store the result somewhere. No, it will be b is b. Else, um, we since we need to, like, when we do this recursively, since there's no, like, loops, so we have to set data set um, A to B, pass A to B, sorry, B to A. And then, well, actually, we need to set B first, don't we? Or do we need a temp variable? I think we need a temp variable for this. So data math temp, uh, I make this a plus b and the reason why we have to do it this way is because um, you can just pass in normal number even in a string like the quotes are optional but uh, if we want to substitute in the value of a variable we can use this syntax and this way we can make this way commands can allow string values and um, like putting in the values of variables after that, since we set temp to a plus b, after setting a to b, we can set data set uh, b to b temp, which yeah was the value of a plus b before we set a, whatever. And so after that, we can recursively call uh, Fibonacci with n, since we already decremented it by 1. And will that cause any problems? It might, or will it? No, we aren't calling Fibonacci directly. That will reset A and B. Instead, we can just call, we just batch call main. So this should work, probably. We'll see. So we can just test this. We can declare the ABC using uh, a batch command. And I'm using pi for syntax highlighting because this custom syntax works best with Python syntax highlighting, even though it's not Python. And there we go. So we could try it. And it seems to have done nothing. And that is because we didn't actually call if and else. There's, see, these, this isn't special syntax. We're just declaring multi-line strings. So we can use the control con command, help command control con. And this isn't really very useful, but the way you use it is that uh, you pass in a command to call. So yet yeah, there is another command for uh, comparing values to other values. So there is an assert range command. And this is where you give it a value, v. So we're testing assert range. We're testing um, the value of n. I think we can just substitute it in this level, which should be fine. They're just numbers. And then we need to see if it's less than or equal to zero. So that's an inclusive upper bound of zero. And after that, we call it otherwise else. And that should be it. So we can just redeclare Fibonacci batch and try it again. It seems that we got a generic data command. That's. It seems like we forgot to specify a valid uh, subcommand somewhere. Ah, pardon me. It's control con, I believe.
And it looks like we tried to call main directly. Why is that? Ah, I see. Uh, instead of this, we actually need to do data run. Because batch the batch command doesn't actually support variable substitution, but data run does. So we have to use data run to call a batch command with our uh, main string. So let's try that again. Okay, is that correct? Indeed. So we didn't actually specify an upper bound here, so we could specify Fibonacci 100. And there. Uh, so the cool thing about data math is that it supports big ints in JavaScript, which means that we could, it could be theoretically as long as it can under uh, Discord's um, character limit. So we could try Fibonacci. What's a big number? That's not too big. 500? Yeah, that wouldn't work as a normal JavaScript float, but um, since it's using integers, it defaults to big ints in data math, which is pretty cool. So yeah, here is a an introduction to HarveyM's batch, weird batch language.